welcome to episode 162 of Anime and Us. Was it 62? Yep. I'm uh, 62. I'm TJ. And I'm Sean. And this is the review show that reviews anime from A to Z. Sort of. Alright guys, so uh, we're doing the whole pick your meal thing. Still, yes. Problem is, in, uh, was this J? J. Judy Chin, Recharge. Yeah. I actually, There's nothing in J. Yeah, I know. We spun the wheel last time because I couldn't find anything, and this is what we got. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing in J. And then, uh, surprise alert for the next official category letter, there's nothing in K. <laughs> Not really, no. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. Anyway, back to Jude and Chain Recharged, directed by, who cares? Oh yeah, we're covering Jude and Chain Recharged, by the way. There we go. Written by Yasunori Yamada. Came out, original run, the anime was 2009 to June 2009 uh, to September. And the manga was 2006 to 2013, which is pretty big. Yeah, yeah that's, I mean, that's a lot of factors. I mean, it's a freaking Ichi, so it doesn't surprise me. Yeah. So, I have a question, right off the bat. How long ago did you watch this? I watched it last, I watched it like three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember, I remember the overarching plot, but like the nuances of it, I don't remember too much. So... I, well, there was was nudity in it, right? I don't know if there was straight up nudity. I'm pretty sure there were nipples. There might have been no. There was a lot of Ichi, though. Like there, were, every girl was in their underwear in every episode. I'm 99 percent sure. Like I don't remember nudity. It wasn't like overtly like, oh, I'm gonna f- you. Oh wait, no, no, it was. It was what? <laughs> Not all the time, but like she would like sit down to watch like anime. And yeah. it was hentai. There was a. It was essentially yeah, there was 100 nudity. Yeah. There was a hentai inside this anime <laughs> that was like the main show, which is actually kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. So before we we continue, we're just I'm gonna just, no, I'm gonna go a little bit behind the scenes here. So I watched this show five weeks ago. Five weeks ago. Because that's it's been five, it's been that's, five, it's weeks. Been five weeks. Because so like the next three episodes, it has. the le- next three episodes are going to be. Uh, I mo- watched it five weeks ago. Then yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the next three episodes are going to be movie reviews because <laughs> I watched two movies in the last two days and then four episodes of King of <laughs> today. <laughs> You were supposed to watch three movies. Did you watch the third? Yes, I okay. watched that two weeks ago. Okay. So, yeah, it's been five weeks because... Oh, uh, uh, building a computer. and So, like, we we do all the recording on my computer. And I got a, a GPU for free from a buddy of mine. So, we wanted to build a computer around that. So, it would be all up to date. Problem is, I'm kind of retarded. So, it didn't work for a <laughs> long-ass time. And it's finally working. So, yeah. So, behind the scenes thing, we're probably recording five podcasts tonight. So Yes. Just keep that in mind. So this is going to be, our memory is going to be a little lapsed on some of this stuff. Uh, Especially Sean. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> but with all that out of the way, we're doing Jude and Chandra Charge. What is the premise? So there's this other dimension. Yes, of, uh, kind of. Like, I don't even know if it's a world so much as it, like it's a hub base for like this organization that uh, detects people's like sadness levels and recharges them so they're happy. Yeah, I think it's a world where it just mostly took place within that organization. What I'm wondering, though, is, is like, if certain dimensions have... Go away, time. I'm sorry to hear my, dad, my cat. <laughs> um, I'm wondering if, like, you've seen the show Loki? Yes. So you know how, like, that the governing body, I mm-hmm. forget what it's called, is, like, in its own dimension, but clearly it wasn't... Cre- like, those people aren't from that dimension. Right. Like, maybe whoever made uh, the recharge girl, I don't know what they're called, the rechargeable girls... Uh, came from a different dimension, and then they were like, oh, let's, look, we got dimensional f- technology, here's a good dimension, let's make this our hub base. Uh, maybe. I'm assuming that's what it is. That's possible. I just assumed there was a whole world there, because it seemed well, like they all were- All we saw was that city, like that one little tiny, like, yeah, no, building. Be- because they wanted to spend most of the time in our world. Yeah, sure. So. But they didn't show anything else, so I just, I don't know. Yeah, I know, I just, I just assumed there was a whole world. I mean, you could be you right. You only ever see women there, though, right? I don't think we saw any No, guys. there was guys. Were there? Yeah, there was, like, oh. the- well, what's his? There's like a bad guy in like a control room. This this show is very much uh, manga bait. Oh yeah. So it ends on a cliffhanger. Yeah. So, but there are guys in that world and uh, stuff. Anyway, that this, organization. Besides, this, anim- this anime people. is not smart enough to think of a hub thing like that. So maybe though, <laughs> I think I think it was just laziness. Honestly, they didn't want it. They just wanted for the anime. Sure. Yeah. Maybe in the manga. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. We didn't. Re- we're not reading the manga. So well. Anyway, so like, there's these recharge girls. You're following the main girl. Um, okay. Her name. Stop right there. You keep saying recharge. You need to explain what that is. <laughs> they, I I did it earlier. They recharge people when they're sad. How? Oh, they uh, connect to like transformers with their tail. Their tails are plugs. Yeah. And then the, <laughs> they, like, shoot energy into them. Then they stab them in the back with them. Yeah. 
Yes. It's really dumb. And then usually they, she shorts out and her, um, yeah, it starts to burn off. It's, it's a ridiculous premise. Just to, they get, it's dumb. It is. And then she comes across a guy who can see her and no one's supposed to be able to see her. And they don't even explain that or anything. It's like he can see her. Yeah, it's just, it's a thing. And, and not only can he see her, he can touch them and stuff too. When they're supposed to be able to go through things and people. Right. And he's in a, he's very abusive and hits them with baseball bats. Well, I mean, All he the doesn't time. agree with their way. It's, so, like, there is a slightly deeper plot of, like, sure, if someone's, like, about to kill themselves and recharge them with positive energy, it's just going to deplete. Right. And then they're going to try to kill themselves again. So his idea is, like, fix the underlying issue and then you won't have to recharge them over and over again. Right. So, like, in the very beginning, he hits them for no reason. And then he figures out what they're doing and then he starts hitting them because, oh, you're doing it wrong. Do it my way. Yeah, but the, he's still in the one of baseball bats. And then they kind of merge their two, like, paths. Yeah. They're kind of helping each other out to fix people. And oh, he's still hitting them. Because there's a, there's a main character girl who's kind of a ditz, and then there's the smart one yeah. who does things by the rules. The smart one has big tits. Yes, of course she does. I was a little surprised that the guy that could see them didn't turn out to be the main girl's love interest at first. I mean, it probably would have eventually went yeah. that way. But it seemed like it was going for the other girl. Oh, triangle. And then the his little sister's friend loves him. Yeah. So, um, like, more of a triangle. That, there there was still a triangle, square. just didn't mean the first two. <laughs> and one of them can't be seen by the other, so it's like... Yeah, it's dumb. There's not much more plot other than that. Well, then there's... The, we get an antagonist, like, ten episodes in about a little girl who um, makes people depressed. Oh, yeah. And she starts trying to make... Oh, there's, like, other charge. There's, like, the opposite of them, right? Yeah, that's what the... Yeah, it's yeah. she... I forget what they're Another called. Another smaller organization that, like... No, 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 it's just a big... Well, it might be an organization. I don't know, they manga baited it at the end, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a, it, she's a part of another organization. But she didn't... The kid, little kid didn't seem like she knew what she was doing, because at the end, they were like, Oh, you're you're okay now, you're with us. Um, I was thinking something else. There's, like, one episode where, like, assassins come in to, like... I don't know, steal their energy, something like that. I forget exactly what was going on, but there's like one episode where like two other people from another organization. No, came it was. I think it was the same organization. They came to discipline them for not doing the things they were. That doing. happened. Yes, I'm pretty sure there's something else. To do. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't. Know. I don't <laughs> think it matters. This anime did not leave much of an impact. Yeah, it is. It's not good. No, uh, the writing's bad. The dialogue's bad. The art's not particularly great. Especially for its time, it was like 2013 yeah. or something. Like it looks like something out of the late 90s. Yeah, it's not good. Uh, music isn't great. The uh, voice acting is terrible. Yeah, it's just Titties. they just it's, it's well another one of those animes where the artists just want an excuse to draw Boobs. girls. Yeah, yeah, essentially. Well, not just that, but like it's not like the, the artists are just doing their job, right? They're told to draw tits, they draw tits. But it's like the whole production of this anime yeah, but when is I, to bait you to watch it, but then there's really nothing there. It's when, just so you watch it. When I say artist, I mean the manga artist. Sure, sure, sure. Because obviously he wrote this. Because normally the writer is the artist in the manga, right? Mm. So I just assume he. Well, like, yeah, more often than not. So like, there is he just wanted to draw scantily clad women, and this was his excuse to do it. That's fair. So, I mean, he drew an, a huntai within his own universe. That was actually kind of funny, because every now and then, the main girl would just sit down in this guy's house and, and watch her watching yeah, hentai. Yeah. But it's just on TV. It's not like she's putting it in a TV. Yeah, no. Anymore. It's it's the most popular show in, I guess, Japan. I guess I we're know. in Japan. I don't know. But, like, they'd tune into it, and then there'd be, like, a solid minute of us watching softcore hentai of, like, a girl being tied up in tentacles, clearly going places, but you don't mm-hmm. quite see it. Yep. And there's this small breasted antagonist in it who gets big, who uses magic to make her big breast bigger. <laughs> and then they become lesbian lovers at the end of the Huntai in the last episode. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, get, we get a completion to that, that yeah, Huntai well, story. <laughs> hey, with points, you know, you gotta, you gotta give uh, props where, there was an arc. where they go. There was an arc and it was completed. There, it That's was. more than a lot of the animes, including yeah. this one that we got. Yeah, this is but the anime, the hentai within the anime had a completed story arc. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, this one kind of had an arc, to, uh, a mini arc towards the end. It was very episodic for a little while, as for her going and fixing the depressed person of the day. Mm-hmm. You know, of course, it started out with her saving the guy who can save her little sister, and then her fr- his friend, and then, and then they started, you know. <sighs> All right, I think I'm done. Well, um, <laughs> it's below average. It's a three, maybe yeah, a two. It's, it's a it wasn't three. the worst thing we've ever seen. No, well, not definitely the worst thing we've ever seen. But it, 
it's it's just itchy to its core. That's all it is. Mm. If you want to watch girls in their underwear, you know, yeah, pretty much. I mean, you could just. I don't know why you just don't go watch a hunt at that point, but if that's what you're into, I mean, maybe you don't have access to. It. Maybe you just have Crunchyroll because this was on Crunchyroll. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, but if you have Crunchyroll, don't you need the internet for Crunchyroll? Well, you do, and you don't. Like you can watch that on your PlayStation. That's fair. I mean, PS5s don't have internet browsers. They don't? They, no. You can get to it if you go through the settings, and you, there's like a manual, I believe it's a manual type place in the settings, and it brings you to the internet, mm-hmm. and then you can use the browser through that, but there's no official browser for the PS5. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, it's weird. But it the, is odd. PS4 had one, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just, I thought that was, that's just weird. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Next episode. Uh, Yeah, next episode. Dragon Ball. Yeah, it's gonna be a Dragon Ball Z movie. It's um <laughs> Super Android thirteen. There we go. <laughs> it's not gonna. We're, uh, we'll tell you what K is gonna be when we get the K. But there's gonna be three Dragon Ball Z movies for the next three weeks. So until then, bye. Stop now. <laughs>